Hey everybody, I'm back again. Hey, today I'm going to do a, a one from a, another Iowa brewery. I've done a few of their beers before. Um, I'm, this is from the Millstream Brewing Company in Amana, Iowa. I'm going to do their Hefeweizen. Uh, it says, uh, from the website, it says, now this is a Hefeweizen made for Iowa. We took a little liberty with putting a twist on the name and making ours a Hefeweizen to fit it fit in the whole Iowa thing we have going on at Millstream Brewery. While we took liberties and played with the name, we did not compromise on making a true German Hefeweizen. As with a Hefeweizen, ours is sweet and fruity with a full body. Our yeast produces the unique phenolic flavors of banana and cloves. It is very lightly hopped, so it has a little bitterness. The Hefe prefix means with yeast, and the be thus the beer's unfiltered and cloudy appearance. Weizen means wheat. Um, it has 12 IBUs, 5.7% ABV, so I've never had this before. I've had other of their beers. I've reviewed a few other of their beers, but this is one I've not had, so this will be my first time. So let's get this uh, Iowa made uh, Hefeweizen in a glass and see what we have. Got your, just your standard Millstream Brewing cap. So let's see what we have. I didn't bother bringing a regular Hefeweizen glass. I've got one, but didn't figure I would. Well, I've got almost no head on this. Not even a, not even a pinky. Just a thin, thin layer right on the top. It is a cloudy, um, golden yellow color. A little darker than. Uh, that I'm used to. I'm used to those that almost sunshine gold in there, but it's still a nice, uh, still a nice looking beer. I can't believe there's no head on that at all. So let me get a nose on this and uh, see what we got. I do this night. I think it's 96 degrees right now. Pretty warm, pretty sticky. It's gonna be one of our last few hot days. So nothing like a good half of icing on a on a hot sticky day. And hope this is a good one. Head's dissipated. Head's gone entirely. There's just a light ring around the edge, and that's it. Can't really see a ton of carbonation streaming up, but I'm sure there's some there, so let me get a nose on this. Okay, the first thing I get is that, oh, nice ripe banana. Get, get the clove. There's a little lighter fruit, maybe a pear. There's some uh, light wheat in there, not, not as used, used to as I've... Uh, As I sometimes have had in Hefeweizen, so maybe just a little hint of white pepper, a little hint of uh, citrus, primarily lemon. So smells pretty good. Smells pretty decent for Hefeweizen. So let me get a taste on this. Hey, your initial sweetness. You got those nice fruity esters. There's maybe like a little pear in there. Um, then you get a nice little sharp bitterness from, from some clove elements. Maybe just a, a light touch of hops. Again, that, that lemony citrus is, is in the background. Just, just hints of it. Really got the nice um, overripe banana, though. And I'm not real. I'm picking up a little bit of the pear, but not a lot. Um, It's more, it's more carbonated than I thought it was. It's almost um, almost too carbonated. I mean, it's got a nice underlying light creaminess, but um, the bubbles are just maybe a little little harsh. That might uh, might go away a bit um, a bit when it warms up. I'm just gonna let this I'm gonna let this warm up just a little bit. But um, so far, it's not too bad. I'm I'm surprised. It's it's. Um, so far, it's the better of the, the, the beers I've had from Millstream. I've never been super impressed with their beers, but um, let me sit and sip on this for a while and uh, let it warm up just a bit, and I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's not even been 10 minutes or so. Um, it hasn't warmed up a ton, but I've been sipping on this. This is a, overall, this isn't a bad Hefeweizen. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. Um, like I said, the other beers I've had, uh, 
from from this uh, brewery is uh, average at best. Um, I haven't had them all, but I've had a few. I reviewed a few, so like I said, they're they're a local or they're an Iowa brewery. Uh, the Amana colonies, they're a German colony, so um, it's a series. I think six different six different villages in the Amana colonies. It's a real touristy spot too, but uh, really interesting, uh, really enjoyable visit. Come prepared to spend a lot of money though, but um, they're not too bad. Um, it's not the best Hefeweizen I've ever had, but definitely not the worst. Um, better than average for an American take on a Hefeweizen. I think that, that German heritage might have something to do with it, but um, I'm going to give this a good solid, uh, this... Uh, Hefeweizen from the Millstream Brewing Company in, uh, well that looks washed out in the lights there, from the Millstream Brewing Company in the Amana Colony, Amana, Iowa, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Decent, decent Hefeweizen. Um, I'm, I might not buy it again, but you never know, depending on the finances, but um, it's decent, but I was, certainly if somebody offered one to me, I wouldn't turn it down, so... Uh, 6.5 out of 10. Till next time, everybody, cheers. And let's keep drinking good beer.